Hello there, so today we are going to be making potatoes, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so this was a Patreon actuary request uh, from OHR, uh, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, if you want to request any other tutorial, uh, you can become a Patreon. Uh, that way uh, you can also support uh, the channel and help me pay some bills. Uh, anyway, so this let me just break down how this how I did this uh, scene here. I can see so I made the shapes, uh, that's very easy, you just start with the sphere and then start cutting out different parts. I have the time lapse up on my second channel, I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to, to watch the entire thing from start to finish. But uh, anyway, you just make the shape and then you start adding, and what I added was, let me first isolate one of these, let me just go with this first. So yeah, you make the shape and then, so basically the shape is like this. It And uh, if it doesn't have any materials, it would look very simple like this. You can see nothing fancy about the shape. And then what I did is uh, add a subdivision surface because the base mesh that doesn't have a lot of uh, subdivisions. And uh, that's okay because we are not going for, uh, it, it, it doesn't need, have a lot of subdivisions anyway so uh, then I added a subdivision surface just to get a few details uh, when I apply uh, this the displacement modifier and to control the displacement modifier a bit better I added an empty uh, that and let me just hide this empty here to control uh, the scale control the scale of uh, those bumps, uh, just so I don't have to go to always go back here and uh, play with this scale. And I think this scale uh, always maps out at some distance, so you can't always, it's very hard to, to use the scale to control it. And see, it's, it's, a, it's a bit harder to control with this scale uh, instead of using an empty object. So to access this option, you just have to make sure that uh, by default it is the option is set to local, so you just set it uh, to object and select the object you want to control. Then you, if you scale that object, it should also scale uh, your noise or bumps here. Uh, so then after that, I added a particle system. Nothing fancy, just uh, I, add, I created a simple object, give it, give it the same material as uh, the potatoes have, and uh, then uh, distributed it onto these object, the uh, all the potatoes. Uh, let me make sure it renders uh, using a particle hair system. Let me just go to that. And so it's just a, a particle hair system uh, with a very few uh, number of particles. And as, uh, in render as it's a change from path uh, to object, so that I can uh, select uh, the object, the instance object uh, as the object I created here. So. And uh, basically, that's it for the modeling or uh, the geometry of the sh of the potatoes. Uh, they're all using the same modifiers. Uh, if you can see again, just three: a subdivision, displacement, and a particle system. And now the rest is just uh, the materials and lighting. So let me bring back, give this back the material it has. So for the materials, it's, uh, it just most of it is just to add a little bit of uh, details using uh, the bump, uh, the normal map or bump maps. Uh, so for that, uh, what I used was uh, a noise texture and a uh, mass grave uh, texture. Uh, there isn't any difference in this. I, they don't really need to be different. Uh, you can use both. Uh, no, you can use a noise tex two noise textures, and uh, they should work fine. I just use a different scale just to mix up uh, smaller details and uh, high details. Uh, still compiling for some reason. Okay. And uh, so I mix these two uh, using a mix mode. And I just, I, I, I also wanted to have uh, these spots here uh, that you see there, uh, like that. And I also wanted them to influence uh, the normal map. So control uh, the 
to control the bumps are from this from this noise uh, setup. I added a mixed noise, a, mi a mixed node, uh, so that I can uh, with that with that with an, with no input here except this color input. So if I kind of move this, I can control. And if you can see it here. I can control those bump maps, how much they come through, and then I bring in uh, these uh, other spots uh, that we are made using a noise texture with a very uh, low scale, and uh, it has to, I don't know why it has to compile every time, but uh, uh, basically just I use a noise texture and then uh, give it a color ramp to kind of uh, push out all the other d the small details uh, so that we remain with. Let me just preview it here. You can see uh, this is the noise, very faint, and then I used a, a color ramp to kind of pull out or push out some of the details, pull in some of the details so that you can see. I remain with just a, a small tint of that and I use that as a mask to mix uh, with this yellow with, with this yellow color to have that to have those spots in and, and that was fed directly into the base color then I use the same mask here uh, to kind of, because I wanted it to influence uh, the bump map here, or the normal map. Yeah, I mixed it with the original normal map of uh, the noise we got from here uh, to have this. Okay, so it's hanging. Uh, anyway, so to kind of pile them up here. The way you see them, uh, to pile them up, I just used uh, the rigid body system. I just pile them up around here and then let let them fall down, and then just pile on top of each other, and uh, that's that was it. Everything else was just just made the lighting uh, to make it look a little bit better. I think it looks good enough. So for the smoke, I didn't want to simulate smoke uh, because to achieve this high detail of high fidelity smoke like this would take a lot of time to bake and uh, it would basically slow down your PC uh, after you bake it as well. So uh, what I did, uh, I just used an image uh, on a plane and I used that as the alpha channel and also the base color and uh, in the material settings, I changed uh, the blend mode to alpha blend and uh, the shadow to none so that uh, these, these planes don't cast any shadows. So if you have this set to opaque, you can see that uh, the smoke will uh, kind of, uh, sorry, the plane will cast a shadow. Uh, I think al alpha hashed will just, will have the smoke kind of uh, the alpha channel uh, cast other shadow, but uh, I didn't mind uh, having any shadows for that, so I just disabled that, and uh, that's what I ended up with. So, yeah, this was the final results of uh, the tutorial. So, anyway, if you want to watch the entire time lapse from start to finish, you can just go to the link in the description, uh, then the video will be uh, there. Thank you for watching.